the DJI Flip. It sits between the Neo and the Mini 4 Pro and I admit I was a little bit harsh on it when it first got launched but lately something happened to this little drone. What's up everyone? FC here from Drone and Tech Review and this Flip was introduced a few months ago and I was a bit harsh on it because everyone was raving about it. Well, mixed reviews but I was on the harsh side I gave you 10 reasons why this was not good basically it couldn't do what it was supposed to be good at which was follow you capture your adventures with a hand launch it just kept getting lost it was very inconsistent its performance was so poor compared to the Neo and let me show you right here all right here we go I have a bike and I am gonna attempt to pedal at around 15 miles an hour and see if the drone can keep up doing pretty well and all of a sudden the drone stops and stalls so it causes it to fall behind and it has a hard time catching up segments like that but here we go this is my torture test and right off the bat the drone started going up and down, up and down, and then it lost me. Okay, so I go back in frame. I wasn't that far away, but it couldn't get me back. But then when I get closer, he got me back. So no, you know, and then a little jerkiness right there. And this is a very sharp hairpin turn. I take it a little wide and quite good. It's able to follow me so close mode and flat elevation and here we go we're gonna go through some pretty crazy switchbacks downhill and we'll also demonstrate the the, the results of the DJI Neo right here the drone is getting farther and farther away from me as I drop down in elevation it's getting higher from me and also it's getting farther Not too bad, but boom, it just smashes into the trees. I thought this thing had obstacle avoidance, but I am not sure. It didn't work that time. Right there, dodge the tree. It's, it's very jerky, the way this drone is moving around. And so I shelved it for a few months. I just used my Mini 4 Pro and my Neo and uh but lo and behold i had some problem with my neo it went in the water and uh, i had to open this back up and a lot of firmware updates have happened since then and so okay no choice i have to use it and guess what it is so much better than before it uh it got basically they fixed the tracking problems that it had some reliability issues and they gave it a few new features like uh, dolly tracking and uh now it's pretty darn good. So let me show you a little bit, uh, a little bit of the operation. Follow. So we'll just do follow. Why not, right? Close. Follow. And this is really the way to launch it. Two. One. I found it very hard to stick your finger in there, but we're on follow mode, and uh, it's now a pretty darn good uh, follow drone. You know, so. No matter what I, what I try to do, it's pretty hard to lose now. And I really use it for the mountain biking application. And now, now we're talking. Now we're talking usable. And they've improved the, the power as well. It's a little bit noisier, but it's got uh, a more stability, more wind fighting ability is what I see. So, so now we have something called Dolly Zoom. I selected it. Spotlight. Dolly Zoom. All right, I've never used this, but check this out. So I think it goes back. Hopefully my yard's big enough. And then what it does is it takes shot of, a shot of me, but uh, playing with the zoom the whole time so it looks like my my background is changing all right and then let me show you guys the 
the real power of this thing. You can fly it with your phone, but it's really quite limited um, when flying with, with your phone. You know, your range is about 50 meters. So let me turn off the app. So the real power of this is uh, two things. One is it has a better camera than the Neo and the, um, you know, different lighting conditions, difficult lighting conditions, backlighting, this is better. And then the real power is it can be unleashed with the RC2 controller. And yeah, I've used the RC2 controller with the Neo, but uh, it really, you know, you're not really, that Neo is not really supposed to fly far away because uh, it's a little bit challenged uh, uh, with the distance and the wind and also the range. So this is a much better task for the situation. All right, so let me record something. And then let me take off. Take off. Okay, so now, so now this is the true power of this thing. Now it's a real drone, you know, similar to the uh, the Mini 4 Pro. Not quite at that level, but check this out. It's ascending better now. Like, look at this thing. Look at this thing go. How high are you? 300 feet. In no time, let me go forward. <laughs> so no, no obstacle avoidance, but uh, I mean, talk about a follow me drone that can do the full control drones. And now I say, okay, we're done here. Why don't you return to home? Return to home. I'm still recording, so I'll show you the, the footage on this guy. So now, I'm happy about the DJI Flip, uh, and I think DJI, I was a little harsh, but I was justified. You know, DJI released it prematurely, it wasn't ready, it was buggy, and it was buggy at the thing it was supposed to be good at, which is flying itself. Uh, but now, you know, DJI is DJI, they yeah. do great things with firmware updates, and now, what is this, June 14, it is... Uh, it is a mighty fine drone. Uh, I'm, I'm fairly impressed. Check this out. So there's a wire that is uh, in the way of me, of it, it landing, but it is so accurate. You know, it's between one foot of the wire. And the trust is not gonna hit it. So much more stable now, right? There you go, DJI Flip. Much improved now, I can fully recommend it. All right, before I leave you, let me show you some actual test run. Here I run on open road, try to lose it and it is keeping up with me nicely and it's not only keeping up it's maintaining its distance I make a sharp u-turn there no problem it seems to be a lot more predictable now uh, and that counts for a lot and now I go on a bike here I'm on follow me mode different light conditions and it's doing well seems very consistent very predictable and i think that's what gives you confidence when you're using this out in your adventures and here i have direction track coming at me from a slight angle i find you have to use at least medium or far so you can keep up with your pace as your pace changes and here it lost me a little bit but it'll follow me from the side and it actually comes out with a very nice shot so these things were difficult before with the first release of the flip. So I love the little side to side action, nice and predictable. And now I go on a very tight space, single track, fast climb using an electric bike. 
and it is really tracking me nicely it's not getting lost not getting confused by the light like it used to do it used to just phantom stop because it imagined it saw something so pretty darn usable on downhills it does okay but you know you can't descend at full speed uh, but you can see that changing light conditions very good and I get to a very scenic spot the drone really comes in handy and now I use direction track again while we're climbing and this is a narrow fire road and it's a really good shot of the rider of the bike very handy some grass there the key is it's predictable so I can kind of steer it with all the trees and the grass on the sides and that really adds to the usability of this drone.